What's going on, family? I'm working on the incubator here. Been tidying up, wiring. Um, got mounted the bus bars and everything so my wires don't look crazy. I went ahead just, you know, trying to be proactive and think. Um, as far as stuff that I might have to remove later on, make it easier to remove, which will be my fan and my heating elements, I'm going to use wire nuts for those. So basically, they'll have wire nuts on them. Right here, right here. The ground for the fan. Um, and let's see. And that ground for the fan is down there. So, yeah. And then I got like a little grommet deal there. Um, you can kind of see. That way it won't. Kind of make it look professional. I mean, that's my controller there. I'm going to show you how that works when I get it all back together. I'll show you how it all works. I'll clean it up. But, uh, you know, I tried to make it off of, um, I'm <clears throat> a GQF cabinet incubator. I mean, if you basically, it's like a GQF knockoff, but cheaper. And I built, and I tried to think of everything. I haven't got one of the lights I need to get in. I'm going to put a uh, sterilizing light on it. And, um, that's the only thing else I'm going to add to it. Uh, probably going to end up making another one of these uh, out of better material. Because, I mean, I only paid $15 for this little cabinet. I had the aluminum stock. I made this stuff. Just, I mean, shoot, screws. Screw it in, whatever. Do a little measuring, a little drilling. Nothing to it. But, I mean, like, man... I love this kind of stuff. This is my passion. If I had the money to be able to support myself farming and making stuff, I would do that. It's just it's in my blood, man. Um just trying to trying to get independent, you know what I mean, and be sustainable. So when I uh get to the other part, I'll include that in this video. So just stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, fam. I'm back again. So I'm going to show you what I got so far. Get this multimeter out of the way. That's my wiring. I went ahead, like I said, and uh, did this to the... Uh, heat and this fan that way it's easy to do light bulb LED I'm gonna have to I'm gonna put a breaker in this thing man I got a ground wire but I'm gonna put a breaker in here Main power wire right there in the back. Let me see if I can get it to focus. There we go. I'll probably take that up just detail for peace of mind. Um, probably run some tape behind these wires, man. Just a little extra peace of mind. You know what I mean? I got them screwed in here tight, but hey, I don't need no fluky stuff happening. You know what I mean? So it's pretty much near. I did this, trying to do, see what would work the best. Bad or these kind, I think I like them better. And I'm going to make some better labels with my label maker and put on here so it's permanent. And then I got a, uh, a box that I'm going to mount everything in. This is my box that I'm going to mount everything in. Some way. I'm going to make it look good. So, we'll see. Stay tuned. Be right. What's going on, everybody? Got the incubator going. Light. Turn 
the light back on. It's a little LED light. You know, you can be able to look in there and tell. I'm still going to uh, put a uh, UV light in here later. But uh, I got my bucket. I just ain't put the bucket on top yet, but I will here in a minute. Um, put my little vent fan down there. Uh, with that, man, that's pretty much got me covered. Right there. So, yeah. It ain't kicked on yet. I'm surprised. Uh, but, uh, cool. <laughs> I can dig it. So far, so good. Like I said, temp humidity is right on the money. So, also, let's see what the temp is. Over here, I got a, I got a manual. The moment in here. Make sure this. Oh man, said heat rise is at the very top, so I don't know. But I tell you what, I have forgot. I did forget to. Uh, oh man, where they at? Got the little sock things. Yeah, hey, just look at all this aftermath, man. I mean, I've been, I had it going and I completely stripped it down. Um, redid some things as far as all the wiring. I took everything completely apart so I could wire it up. Um, so I could wire up <coughs> the, uh, the controller neatly. And like, I think it should be you know, for us professionally. Man, I thought we do got some heat in there though. So, I guess I need to take these things, this right here, one of them, and put on there so I can get the humidity. Hold on a second, I'm gonna push it down. Kind of see it. This thing focus. Yeah, that wicking action actually worked pretty quick too. That's the alarm going off for this thing. I'll go ahead and cancel it. Hit enter. And right now, you got basically a humidity state I don't have a uh, basically it'll make humidity for you with another uh, heater if you want to do that 
but I'm doing this the old school way as opposed to using the heater to make the water. Then you have main heat. This right here is the anti ancillary heater. I think that's right. This lets you know that your vent fan is on. The main fan is wired up straight, so whenever the unit comes on, period, when it's plugged in, fan is on. I'm going to go get me a breaker, if I can find one, um, maybe sometime today and put it in, so that won't happen. I can just, you know, if something happens, if something short, so the trip to break and not burn everything up. Then this shows you the, uh, basically when the term, this, this days, right there, how many days it is. Uh, you can set the days. I set it to, I want to say 19, just for the heck of it. And then um, it'll count down the hours. So two hours, every two hours, this thing turns. So when this gets to zero, that's going to change and go the other way, and this thing's going to turn. So I still got to clean it up. I'm going to clean this window up, clean the outside of it up. I mean, it's rough, but like I said, I only paid fifteen dollars for this enclosure. I figured I could get my money out of it. So we'll see. I also want to show you building up. I was having a problem with the uh, with it uh, overheating on me. You know when you let the temp go way down, or you just starting it up. Basically, okay vent just cut off got it set to 37.5 degrees celsius secondary heat just went off main heat is still on main heat just went off see my humidity is rising temperature sensors in the middle turn the light back on You, know, you can see the temperature sensor right there and the uh, humidity sensor so if it's right in the center the ones on the top and the ones on the bottom they should be good and there you go now you can see what I'm talking about. So we only hit 37.7, so it's great to have that little extra hole with that fan. That vent did tremendous, man, because before, it was jacking me all the way up. So I'm not afraid to put quill in this, or any other kind of eggs, for that matter. So, there you go. And I'll show you what the inside looks like a little later. Alright, time to go. Bye.